everybody, my name is Gabrielle Moses. If you don't know me or my content, I do a lot of vlogging or day in the life type of videos. So that means I'm always having content to edit or videos to put out. And I actually just recently made the switch from Final Cut Pro to Adobe Premiere because I heard a lot about features that not only save time, but are super fun to use. For me, when editing, the most annoying thing is adding subtitles, especially if it's a really long video because it takes forever. Adobe Premiere has this really cool feature called speech to text transcription and it makes the process so much easier. I'm excited to show you what it's all about so let's just jump in. Okay, so I have a short clip here from one of my videos and I wanted to add some subtitles to it. All I have to do is come up to window and then choose text which will open up the tab for the captions. You can also click captions button at the top but I like doing it this way. I don't know why, no judgment. So all you have to do now is click transcribe sequence and then tell it what track your audio is on. You can also do an overall audio transcription, but mine is just dialogue on audio track one. So all I have to do now is click transcribe. Premiere is creating the transcription. Just a few more seconds remaining. Yep, it's that easy. <laughs> Let's see if I got it all right. And I'm sorry about my voice right now, guys. I know there's gonna be so many comments about that. My allergies are legitimately killing me right now and they have never been this bad before. Don't worry, I've been to the doctor. It is just allergies. So my voice is just all messed up. And I also just haven't had a normal sleep schedule. So that's just not helping the cause whatsoever. Wow, yeah, it got everything but one word right. To be fair, it does sound like I say about instead of I've been, but honestly, this is insane. So now that I have my transcription, I can just come in and change the word that it missed real quick. Then I can click create captions. Looks like I have some options to choose from here, but I'm going to leave everything where it is at, except maybe the amount of lines. I'll turn that to single instead of double and then create the captions. What's nice about this is I can drag them around, make them longer or shorter or edit them by double clicking on the caption in my video window. If I want to change the font or the color, I can just double click on the caption above my timeline, which will bring up some editing controls under the edit tab on the right. I'm going to choose something a little less boring, add some color, and maybe a background to make it pop more too. This is looking cute. I like this. Since I only made the style for this caption, I can now press this little up arrow, which will let me push the style to the rest of the captions on my video. I can also save the style inside my project too. Now that all my captions are done, I want to export the video with the captions baked in. I've noticed that a lot of people watch videos without the volume on, so having the captions on the screen right away is great for the viewer engagement. All I have to do is come up to File, Export, then Media, and under the Captions tab, I'll select Burn Captions into Video. Choose a quick YouTube export preset from the drop down menu, and now my video will have the cute captions I baked in, so people can watch it even without the volume turned on. If you don't want the captions on the video itself, you can export an SRT file from Premiere by clicking on the three dots and choosing Export SRT. Then take that file and upload it along with your video on YouTube, so closed captions will be enabled. If you're like me and you make longer videos with a lot of dialogue, this speech to text tool is a game changer whenever it comes to subtitles. I like the fact that the computer actually does like 95% of the work and all I really have to do is clean it up a little bit. It seriously saves so much time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you consider switching to Adobe Premiere if you have not already. And so if you guys want any more tips, be sure to subscribe to this channel for some more Adobe helpful tips and tricks. And if you'd like to find me, all you have to do is search Gabrielle Moses on all social media platforms and on YouTube.